All right, let's make a teleporter. Teleporters are fun. And we'll go ahead and do it in this room we just opened the door to. And we'll put the teleporter right up here at the end of the hall. And just for fun, we're going to make the teleporter start deactivated. And that means you won't see it. The game, it's not on. So we're going to make a hidden pressure plate and be right in the spot where the teleporter is. Oh. So when somebody steps in that spot, they don't see the pressure plate because it's hidden. It's going to turn on the teleporter and send them somewhere as a big surprise. Let's rename that plate. We'll call it Tele Hidden Plate. And we'll call this Tele Hidden. Now this is kind of going off the screen down here, but down here is the target. The X, Y of the location where you're going to send the teleporter and the level. So we can send it to level two, you know, down to the next floor. Um, but we'll just keep it on this level right now. And now if you notice when I'm moving over here, if you look way down here in the corner, see when I move the cursor back down there in the corner are the numbers, that's the X, Y coordinates. So let's say I want to move right back here in front of this snail. Let's do that. And we want to move in front of that snail. So we're surprised and have to face an enemy. That's 18, 17. So we go over here and we can hit 18. 17 and there it is it's pointing down there now you can also just click this set target and pick one so uh, that's really is the easier way to do it but it helps to know when you're floating and see these coordinates down here in the corner you're going to use that for other things as well and sometimes you just want to type it because you're doing other things and anyway it's another way to do it now which way is he going to face we want him to face the snail head on don't we so we need to make sure the teleporter is facing south because uh, where he's going to land in this square and the the snail is going to be to the south so let's turn the teleporter that way and this change facing is checked which will turn us to the south if that's unchecked then whichever way we're pointing when we go into the teleporter will still be pointing that way so if we were looking at the wall to the east and we sidestep onto the teleporter we'd still be looking at the wall to the east down here. But we don't want that. We want to make them face south and face the monster. And you can use this in your teleporters to turn people around or make them see something as a surprise when they get somewhere. We can have this teleporter not work for monsters or items or only work for items. We can make it so it's not a light or it's not a flash or we can make it silent. But we're just going to leave those as normal. Right now it's not activated until we step on the plate. So we need to select the hidden plate and add a connector to the teleporter and then it will activate it and teleport us in front of that snail so let's try it z to open that door real quick now it looks normal so we step here and poof yikes we're in front of a monster trying to attack us what happened ah. so that's an easy way to set up a trap for somebody now we could move this plate down one and then you still don't see anything, but as soon as you step here, the teleporter's active and it's less of a trap, you know, just a surprise, I guess. And then you can step one more to go through it. So either way, you know, whatever you want to do, but that's a really quick and easy way to do a teleporter. Now let's, uh, let's set the target to just right back here. Let's make it so the teleporter goes away after a couple seconds. So we're just going to make a timer and put that nearby. And we're going to link this plate to the timer and not to the teleporter. And then we'll make the timer uh, be three seconds and we'll link that to the teleporter and with activate. And then when the timer, um, oh, excuse me. I set that up a little bit wrong. We are going to have the plate continue to turn on the teleporter but the plates also going to go to a timer which after three seconds will turn off the teleporter that's what we want to do and then we're going to have the timer turn off itself after that same three seconds so you just add a connector and you just click on itself and that way it won't keep sending the signal over and over again every three seconds it will only send it one time and then turn itself off so you step on the plate the teleporter turns on and the timer turns on and after three seconds the timer turns the teleporter back off step on a plate 
it's on one, two, three, and it's gone. All right. So if this was a few steps away, I'd need to hurry up and get there before my time runs out. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's move the teleporter over there and then try this again. So it's too far away. I can't reach it. So I step here and three seconds. So I got to hurry and get over there. Ah, I made it. Okay. And it just teleported me back here. I want it to face forward. You could make a puzzle where they need to hurry and get to the, the teleporter and you know, they're too slow. Da 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 da. And it's off. Ah, I didn't make it in time. Darn. Sometimes you want the teleporters to turn off for other reasons. So it doesn't to ruin the puzzle case they have to go back through that area again or, or whatever uh, so timers can help to reset things put things back to the way they were after a certain amount of time